When I was in my early 20s, my friend Shannon told me she'd met a guy named Ezra who lived in the famed Westerfeld house at Alamo Square. She was besotted with this mysterious dude, and since Shannon was shy and mousy, back then anyway, I wanted to meet the guy who captured her attention like no one else ever seemed to. So, with Ezra's permission, she brought me to this storied Victorian house to the private club called Dark Eyes that operated in the ballroom in the basement. Wolf came to the back door, invited me in, and the rest was history. I was captivated by Wolf and Salon from the start, enthralled by the way the club operated, and absolutely mind-blown by the fact that they were all vampires. Being in dark eyes with them made the world seem limitless and magical. Made me look at everything with new eyes. The fact that vampires were real and could theoretically live across time was like discovering a whole new world for myself. And it became my world. I became addicted to dark eyes, to the house, to the vamps. I didn't let them feed on me the way that Shannon did. I wasn't into the blood play kind of thing. No kink shaming here but I wanted to be a part of it in every way that I could. When I wasn't at my bartending jobs or with my mom, I was hanging out here, soaking up the atmosphere, feeling like I finally found a place where I belonged. It was enough that Salon offered me a job working for him at Dark Eyes as a bartender. He told me he could give me and my mother a better life. At the time, I was too afraid to consider it. Despite how natural it felt to hang around vampires all day, they were still predators, and not all of the vamps that stepped inside the club to feed respected me the same way that Salon, Wolf, and Ezra did. I was human, prey in their eyes, and working here would bring risk into my daily life, no matter how Salon promised I would be protected. But then Salon's word became reality. I was attacked one night, walking back home. My attacker, some man, some ordinary shitty human, was going to rape me, possibly kill me. And Salon appeared when I needed him most. He saved me, killed the man. And I was forever in his debt after that. Still am. <laughs>